Okay, we're going to play Tower and Dungeon today. This is a game you can explore the negative numbers. So, what you need, you need the deck of cards, but only you need the cards from one or ace to six, and each suit. You need either counters or cubes, to indicate which floor you have been to. Right, so let's start. I'm going to use a cube as a player. Now you can play with two people, two players, or you can play just by yourself. So I'm going to shuffle these cards. So let's practice. So let's pretend that we have two players here. So I have a deck. So I start from the player, I mean the zero, the f well the first floor, ground floor, it hits a zero. Now, I pick a card and place it. I have to decide if I want to go up or down using six. If I'm going up from this floor, I'm going to go up, I mean this plus, so the answer is six. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. I go to sixth floor. I can slay that white dragon. Right? Then the second player plays. Well, if you're playing with me against me now, you can just pause the video and you can take your turn. Now it's my turn. My player or the, my knight is still here, my dragon slayer. I take the next card. Ace is one. I cannot go up anymore, so I have to go down. So I'm on six. I'm going down. That means minus is five. I go down one. Then I can slay the next dragon. It's your turn. You can pause the video. My turn again. Now, Joker means I can pick any number, the one, two, three, four, five, or six. So I'm going to pick, let's pick six. So I'm on five, I'm going to go down six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to be minus one, floor minus one. I'm going into the dungeon now. I just slide at Aqua Dragon there. Now it's your turn. Next, I pick a new card. An ace. I have already been to the to floor zero and there's no dragon there. I'm going to go down. I'm on minus one. I'm going down one again. Minus two. So this is the dragon I slayed. Now it's your turn. My turn again. Joke again, I'm lucky. So I'm going to slay the, the dragon at the bottom because I think it's very difficult to get to. So I have to take minus two. I want to go down to minus six, so I one, two, three, four, I go down four, then I reach minus six. There. Now it's your turn. My turn again. Three. I'm doing well. One, two, three. So it's minus six, I'm going to go up three, it will be minus three. Now I'll stop this game now. Whoever wins, whoever slays all the dragons, then though, then you have to go up, climb up to the top of the tower. Once you conquer all the dragons, once you slayed all the dragons, then if you reach to the top of the tower, you're the winner. Why top of the tower? Because there's a princess there hiding right there, or 
dragon was hiding the princess on the top of the tower. Once you save the princess, you win the game. That's the first game. Now there's another game. Now here's a little um, tip for the teachers. If you laminate your game sheet, you can re you can reuse that for later for the you know, multiple plays. So, oh, this dust is not that great, but let's see. So if you are playing by yourself, or this is a different way of playing the game. Get ready. We're doing pretty much the same thing. So I'm going to change. I'm going to use. I'm going to use a counter to move around this time. So you can play by yourself, or you can play with another player. This time, you can keep playing until you, you know, happen to land on the empty floor. It means no dragon floor, or means the floor without a dragon. So. My first round, six. I would go down first. Zero, I go down six, I'll reach minus six. So this dragon's gone. I can still play. One, well, minus six, I have to climb up. One, minus five. Let's see, Joker. I am going to pick two. So I'm on minus five. I got up two. So I'm going to be on minus three, full or minus three. I can still play one. Ooh, I am going to go down one. This is good. I'm Joker. So I'm here, I'm going to go up to, up to, now I'm on minus two. I can still play six. I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, minus two, plus six is now four, two, three, four, five, six. I can still play. This is unusual. Two. This is four. I got up two. There you go. My turn again because I can still play. Three. One, two, three. I can go down. Three. One, two, three. I can still play. One, or oh, lucky I can go down one. Oops, sorry, this is, I'm on the third floor. I'm on the third floor. Minus one is two. Right. Now it's getting harder now. Two. Now I have no choice but going down and stay on the empty floor or go up and stay on the empty floor. So I'm going to go down. Two minus two equals zero. Once you stop on the empty floor or the floor without a dragon, it's now second player's turn. So if you're playing against me, it's your turn now. Right, this is my second round. The aim of the game two is uh, slaying all the dragons. You don't have to go to the top of the tower. So this is my second round. Three. One, two, three going down. It doesn't do anything. One, two, three. Dragon's not there. So I'm going to go down. So I can erase it. New number sentence is zero. Take away three because I'm going down is minus three. One, two, three. Now it's your turn. My turn again. This is my third round. Four. Oh, one, two, three, four. So minus three. If I go up four, 
I read one, one, two, three, four. Because I slide the dragon, I can play again. I need down two or up four, five. I would go up five, one, I'm on one. I'm going to climb up five, I'll be on six. Because I landed on the empty floor, it's your turn again. So I introduced the new game called Tower and Dungeon to play with negative numbers. I stop here, but I um, hope you enjoy this game.